I'm Lexi Litweather. I am from Eureka, and my major is psychology, sociology, and I play softball here at Eureka College. So in the future, I hope to work with um, substance abuse victims and anything along the line of behavioral health. So I just want to focus on getting those people back on the right track to where they need to be. Um, what I like here about Eureka is the camaraderie that the athletic program brings within each other. And the student life is... Um, always supportive, everyone's on the right track, everyone likes to come to the games and get out of the dorm for a little bit and do what they do at the games. <clears throat> Last year when I transferred here I wasn't um, sure what to expect because I hadn't been around the program that long, but when we got to Myrtle Beach we just, uh, we clicked, everyone clicked together, we had strong innings every game so I think that Myrtle Beach helped us a lot, but we came back to the conference and played some conference teams and we were still winning and we continued to play as a team. So not many people were expecting us to come from a lower seed up to actually making it to the conference tournament. So the whole ride was, I want to say incredible because no one was expecting it at all, including myself because I wasn't I didn't know what was happening when I came here, so the whole ride was awesome. We made it to the tournament, and um, I wish it would have gone better for our seniors, but it didn't, but we got this year, so. Being a spring athlete is a little bit difficult because you have the whole school year to wait until your season's actually there. So I think that coming from Going from spring, your season, to summer, to fall, you have summer and fall to basically work on your weaknesses, keep improving, but it's a whole lot of downtime, so you have a lot of time to focus on what you could do better. So it gets exhausting trying to uh, continue to better yourself, but I also think it's a good advantage because you have that time to work on yourself, get in the weight room, and get prepared for the season. Role models would be my older brother Cody, who uh, also went to Lincoln College and also played baseball here at Eureka. Uh, the softball baseball relationship has always been kind of cool with us. Uh, he's left handed, I'm right handed, so it's a little bit uh, backwards, but the relationship we have based off of following yeah. each other's footsteps has also has always been cool, and I've looked up to him for that because he's been a great example of what to do in college and how to. Um, how to keep time management, playing a sport, and being in school. If I could have a superpower, it would be to fly so I could get from point A to point B the quickest because I absolutely hate riding in a car. <laughs> um, I chose to continue my softball career because I think that Softball is just a little part of my life, but if I chose to go straight into the workforce, that work would always be there no matter what. Softball is you got a limited time, but you should keep playing as long as you can and as long as you enjoy it. My biggest accomplishment would be actually making it to senior year of college. Graduation is coming up here in May, and I would never have pictured it coming this soon, but it did, and I'm very excited for that. Well, one of the coolest things about softball is getting the perfect pitch and hitting it over the fence. So that feeling of actually hitting a home run is uh, pretty hard to compare to anything, but it's one of those things where you know when it hits the bat that it's going over, so you can kind of stand and watch it but make sure that it's over so rounding the bases seeing it go over and seeing your um your teammates your family members there at the game cheering for you is the most um coolest feeling i would say because you're just in that moment and no one else 
is in that moment either except you 